Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I've been asked to review what does a hiatal hernia attack feel like? And it's a really good question, and it's not a single thing. There's a variety of things, which makes sense when you consider that hiatal hernia syndrome embraces about 20 different symptoms. Um, but the classic is definitely severe acid reflux, severe heartburn, which is pain in the chest, in the esophagus area, and uh, it can get so bad that the acid is up into your throat. Sometimes people have to spit that out. Sometimes they vomit because there's so much acid. So these are all um, variations on the theme of what the severe acid reflux can do. Now, a lot of times, because during the day gravity is pulling everything down to the ground, you're getting some of gravity helping to keep your stomach down and your diaphragm moving better. But when we get horizontal at night sleeping, then gravity is no longer helping. And so that elevated stomach and that elevated diaphragm can cause you to wake up with the really horrific symptom, which is having a panic attack, you're short of breath, your heart is racing, you're anxious, panicked, you have no idea why, uh, trouble breathing. So this is a profile that usually sends people quickly to the ER. I've definitely heard from those of you who have watched some of my videos before of how many times you've been to the ER because you, you, you don't want to ignore such a violent kind of attack, but once you find out uh, your heart is fine, your lungs are fine, and, and a lot of times you're told you're just having a panic attack, which there's no just about it, it's, it's a pretty miserable experience, but that is a, a classic during the night. Now, it's not to say during the day you can't feel shortness of breath or some heart palpitations um, and a feeling of anxiety, but there's the in intensity of during the night you're sound asleep and <gasps> you wake up gasping for air and, and all of this kind of cascades. Sometimes the acid can get so, so bad and the irritation so bad in the esophagus people have uh, trouble swallowing. Because your stomach, you know, here's your diaphragm, uh, your stomach's a bit on the left side, so uh, when the stomach's in spasm, it, it can't easily as accept food as well as if it was in its relaxed state, which is as it should be. So uh, people remark that I just, I just can't eat very much, you know, I can't eat a normal meal, I'm taking very small bites and I just get full really fast. Uh, another thing is feeling that that distension feeling just just under your ribs. Typically, it's on the left. It doesn't have to be. It can be on the right as well. The diaphragm is on both sides, but the stomach is on the left. Uh, but you get this distension feeling and really uncomfortable bloating. So that's another uh, symptom associated with an attack. So it's not a single thing like oh a stabbing pain, you know, right where my stomach is, but there's several uh, issues associated with it. Sometimes people have tingling down their arm. That's usually if they're having the panic attack or anxiety, shortness of breath. Uh, they, can, they can get that feeling as well, but the major ones are, are the ones that I just reviewed and hopefully that will clarify if you're, if you're having one. Now, it's not to say those symptoms can't be associated with other things as well. They certainly can be, and that's, that's really why my new book is called Heidel Hernia Syndrome, and it's, the subtitle is Many Symptoms, One Cause, because it is, it is that long list of symptoms that have this one root cause that very, very often is misdiagnosed. A lot of times people are told you have a small hiatal hernia, it couldn't possibly be causing all these problems. That is absolutely incorrect. You have acid reflux, but it, it you know, will just give you an antacid. So um, this is where the importance comes in and really delving in and finding out if you do have this syndrome because uh, it will replace antacids if you get to the root cause, it will certainly replace anti-anxiety medication, antidepressant medication if you were put on it 
for that reason. If you were put on sleeping pills because you're waking up with these panic attacks, there's so many directions it can go erroneously because the actual hiatal hernia syndrome is not being diagnosed. So if you feel like this is you and you want help, we truly have become in the last decade experts in this field. I don't know anybody who knows as much about this as my team does.